In this video, we are going to discuss about CS3271 Programming in C Laboratory, exercise number 2, decision making constructs, if else, go to, switch case, break, continue. Now let's see the syllabus for regulation 2021. It is a syllabus. Uh, we are going to see the second exercise that is decision making constructs, if else, go to, switch case, break, continue. First, let's see what is a decision making construct. It requires that the programmer specifies one or more conditions to be evaluated or tested by the program along with the statement or statements to be executed if the condition is determined to be true and optionally other statements to be executed if the condition is determined to be false. Now let's see what is the if-else statement. It is used to decide whether a certain statement or block of statements will be executed or not. That is, if a certain condition is true, then a block of statement is executed, otherwise not. Here the condition after evaluation will be either true or false. Next we are going to see go to. In C programming, go to statement is used for altering the normal sequence of program execution by transferring control to some other part of the program. When the control of program reaches to go to statement, the control of program will jump and executes the code below it. Now we are going to see next one is switch case. It is an alternate to if else if ladder statement which allows us to execute multiple operations for different possible values of a single variable called switch variable. It defines various statements in multiple cases for different values of a single variable. It allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values. Each value is called a case and a variable being switched on is checked for each switch case. Next, we are going to see about break. It is a keyword in C used to bring the program control out of the loop. It is used inside loop or switch statement. It breaks the loop one by one that is in case of nested loops. It breaks inner loop first and then proceeds to outer loops. It is used in terminating loop immediately after it is encountered. Now we are going to see what is the continue. It is sometimes desirable to skip some statements inside the loop. It is used to bring the program control to the beginning of loop. It skips some lines of code inside the loop and continues with next iteration. It is mainly used for condition so that we can skip some code for particular condition. Now let's see the lab manual. This is the lab manual for exercise number 2. And this is the algorithm and this is the program. Now we are going to execute this program and we are going to check whether we are obtaining this output or not. So to run this program, what we are going to do is, I am opening C, that program files, I have installed dev C++ and we can open that application. Then file, new, then I am clicking the source file. Or else we can press ctrl plus n to select the course file. After typing this coding, we have to compile so press this execute button in that compile option is present or else we can press F9 in our keyboard. So I am giving compile. Then it is asking you to save the program. You can save this program in any file name with the extension as .c. As this is the second program, I am saving this file name as 2.c. Then I have got the compiling result. There are no errors and there are no warnings. Now what I am doing is I am again pressing this execute button and I am clicking run or else you can press F10 in our keyboard. Then I am giving run. Then it is asking to enter the name of the student. So you can enter your own name. I am giving one name. Then it is asking to enter the particular student's register number. So I am giving a number. Then it is asking to enter the total mark obtained. So for example, I am giving 499. Then it is asking to select the range. This 499 mark is present in which range? 
So 499 belongs to this range, range 1. So I am choosing the ranges 1. Then it is displaying me that my rank is first class and it is scored with A grade and it is telling wishes for us and it is telling that we are the state first. And here I have given continue statement functions also. So this is the output for this. So for case 1, that is for state first, I have given, shown you one output. Here continue statements, what I have given the function is from 1 to 10, I have asked to execute. And if I have mentioned that if i is equal to 5 means that loop alone it won't execute and it will continue to the next loop. So 5 is not present here in continue statements. Then once again, I am running this program to get one another output. Then it is asking me to enter a name. So I am entering one name. It is asking to enter register number. I am entering one register number. It is asking me the total marks uptime. So I am giving 482. Then it is asking in which mark range it is present. So 482 is present in the range 1. So I am giving and I am getting this output. That is my rank is first class. And is telling me the wishes alone. Because I am not a state first in this. Because my mark is 482 only. Before uh, one example I have shown you as 499. So this is state first. This is not state first. So for range 1 I have shown you. Next for range 2 I will show you one output. Then again I am executing. Then it is asking to enter name of the student. So I am entering a name. It is asking to enter register number. I am entering any number. It is asking me total marks of time. For example, I am giving it as 440. It is in the range 2. For range 2 also, 440 means it 2 comes under first class. And I am passing, passing with B grade. So grade is changed here. Before example, grade is A. Here the grade is B. Similarly, continue statement is executor. Now I will show you an example for range 3. So once again, what I am doing is I am running. So it is asking me to enter name of the student. I am entering the register number also. Then it is asking me to enter the total marks of time. For example, I am giving it as 382. It is asking me to select the range. The range is 3. So now also I am in the range of first class and I am passing with C grade. Previous example I have shown the example with A grade, B grade and now it is a C grade. Now in the range 4, I will show you one another example also. So I am running. Then it is asking to enter name of the student. So I am entering. It is asking to enter the register number. Again I am entering. Then it is asking to enter total mark uptime. So I am entering it as 320. Now it comes under the range 4. Because 300 to 350. So range 4. Now I have my rank is changed to second class. And I am passing with B grade. Finally for the range 5. I will show you one output. Again I am running. Then it is asking to enter. Name of the student. I am entering. Register number I am giving. Then it is asking me the total mark. For example I am giving it as 250. Now the range. Is in the range of 5. So it is telling your rank is second class. And you are passing. So there is no grade. So it is wishing us and the continue statement is executed. Now I am going to enter a range which is not present here. So what I am doing is again I am running. Then it is asking to enter name of the student. I am entering. It is asking to enter register number. Again I am entering. It is asking me the total marks of time. For example I am giving 128. Now it is telling sorry or fail. Better luck next time. Because the mark range I have given here only up to 200 to 300. This range is below. That means I have told that they are not passed. So I am getting the output. Sorry of fail. Better luck next time. So I am getting this output. Okay. So same output is we have obtained in our lab manual also. So you can see with A grade that is the state first we have drawn. Then again another output with the mark range with A grade. That is the first range. Then another one output with the second range with B grade. Then third range with C grade. 
then fourth range with B grade that is second class then again fifth range I am passing in second class then next one my arc is 120 so I am failed so I have to better luck next time so same program if you don't install C you can run it in online compiler also that is online gdp.com can open this and you can type your coding have to select language and click on C you can press run or you can press F9 in our keyboard so it is asking student name so I am entering a name it is asking me to enter register number and I am entering it is asking me to enter the total marks of time for example I will show you one output as 499 that is in the range first range and is displaying me that it is a state first passing with A grade congratulations and the continue statement is also occur the same output we have obtained in our lab manual also and while running in dev C++ also I have shown you six different examples how we are getting so same thing is obtained here also in online compiler also we can execute again and again we can execute another thing also for example once again if I am clicking run it is asking me to enter name of the student I am entering I am entering the register number for example I am entering the mark as 128 then it will be telling me that sorry or fail better luck next time so it is the coding we have obtained here So similarly it is given in our lab manual also. So these are the different types of outputs I have shown you for each and every range I have typed the output here. I have executed I have shown you the different outputs. So the decision making construct I have used in my coding is if and another ones that is the else condition also I have used here if else and then go to statements I have used here go to student details means it will be going to the students detail which is mentioned here this is the student details next for continue statement I have given continue here I have used the keyword continue also then break statement also it is present here in the switch case that is break statement is present here so this is the decision making construct so I have used all the conditions which is specified in decision making constructs finally we have executed CS3271 programming in C laboratory second exercise that is how to execute a C program using decision making construct if else go to switch case break continue I hope you have understood thank you